A shocking discovery has just shaken the entire aviation industry. Inside a Boeing 787, investigators uncovered a technical detail that's strictly forbidden across all of aviation, something no one believed could exist on a modern aircraft. It may explain why Air India's Dreamliner met with a tragic fate not long ago, but what exactly was hidden? And how did such dangerous flaws slip past layer after layer of inspection? Let's find out. After a series of incidents involving the Boeing 787, including a shocking crash in India, a global investigation was launched. What was discovered sent shockwaves through the entire aviation world. First thing, water had leaked into the electronics bay, and Boeing knew it all along. During a post-flight inspection after a 13-hour journey, engineers noticed stains on the cabin floor. What they found beneath the insulation was alarming. Water had seeped through and dripped straight into the ENE bay, the aircraft's main electronic control center. A zone designed to be airtight and moisture-free was now exposed to humidity, bacteria, and microscopic metal particles, a deadly mix that can trigger short circuits or even system failures at cruising altitude. The FAA confirmed the leaks were linked to faulty O-rings in lavatories. But what's worse, this wasn't the first time. Internal engineers had raised red flags during early production. Instead of fixing the root cause, Boeing issued patchwork solutions and delayed detection. Now, the fault lies hidden, deep beneath the cabin floor, in a place almost no one inspects unless disaster strikes. And without those recent close calls, the world might still be unaware of what's quietly leaking just beneath passengers' feet. Don't stop there. The second problem was immediately explored. No one expected this to happen. A critical emergency system, designed to deploy only during a catastrophic power loss mid-air, suddenly activated while the aircraft was stationary on the ground. But that's exactly what happened to a Boeing 787 during a routine inspection at Phoenix Airport. When engineers powered on the auxiliary electrical system, the Ram Air Turbine, R8, unexpectedly deployed even though the plane was parked, powered, and showing no signs of malfunction. The RAT is a last resort emergency turbine that supplies limited hydraulic and electrical power only when the aircraft suffers complete power loss mid-flight. If it activates without reason, it's not just a malfunction, it's a life-threatening red flag. After that, an internal investigation traced the problem to a faulty central power converter, which falsely interpreted the situation as a total power failure. As a result, the system automatically triggered survival mode. Had this happened in flight, not only would the RAT deploy, but the aircraft could also cut off communications, lose navigation, and switch its entire autopilot system to emergency mode. A single false signal like this could cause a 250-passenger jet to lose control in midair. But what's truly shocking is this. Boeing had already identified this issue during testing and chose to hide it. They sent no alerts to airlines. They didn't issue a software patch. No recall was initiated. Instead, they gambled with passenger safety to protect their reputation. And that was only the beginning. What came next would shake engineers even further, because it pointed not just to an electronic flaw, but to a potentially fatal structural weakness inside the aircraft itself. That is when the third failure also emerged. Following the RAT incident, investigators broadened the scope of their inspection and made a chilling discovery in one of the aircraft's most vital components, the forward pressure bulkhead. This structural wall, located just behind the cockpit, is responsible for maintaining cabin pressure during cruise at over 12,000 meters, where air is too thin for humans to breathe without pressurization. Even a hairline gap in this bulkhead could lead to a catastrophic pressure drop, leaving passengers unconscious within 15 to 20 seconds. At a test facility in Texas, engineers removed the insulation for routine checks and were shocked by what they saw. Misaligned drill holes, improperly sized rivets, and fasteners so short they didn't reach the load-bearing frame. Worse still, some joints showed internal corrosion, strictly forbidden in high-pressure zones. What is more chilling is that expanded inspections revealed that multiple 787s built at Boeing's South Carolina factory during the same production period showed similar structural flaws. This facility had previously been accused of rushing assembly lines, skipping safety steps, and prioritizing delivery speed over inspection. In response, the Federal Aviation Administration issued an emergency directive. Airlines operating Boeing 787s were instructed to remove insulation, endoscopically examine every bulkhead joint, and scan for microgaps, corrosion, or foreign objects. Superficial visual checks were no longer acceptable. But what truly sparked outrage was Boeing's response. They said these faults had not yet caused any incidents. 
But European structural engineers warned that this was a reckless understatement. Just one leak in the bulkhead and cabin pressure could collapse in seconds. If the oxygen masks don't deploy fast enough or if the crew fails to react instantly, a mass loss of consciousness becomes inevitable. Worse, these defects kept appearing. In early 2025, after internal reports and random inspections, the FAA mandated full inspections across the entire U.S. 787 fleet. Engineers had to use industrial imaging tools to uncover microscopic flaws. These cracks were appearing in the nose section, under the highest pressure zone of the aircraft, the very last place such flaws should ever exist, and the deeper the inspections went, the more they revealed. This wasn't an incident, it was systemic failure. Despite Boeing's claims that over 120 fuselages had been repaired and that the infamous Shadow Factory, a secret site for patching defective parts, had been shut down, whistleblowers disagreed. One engineer, Sam Salapur, revealed that repairs didn't follow safety standards. He alleged that misaligned joints weren't properly reassembled, but instead forcibly compressed using brute force, a shortcut that could lead to gradual structural fatigue, especially during takeoff and landing. Do you know what is the most disturbing part? You can't see these faults from the outside. They lie hidden, waiting, and when they fail, it might be too late to fix anything. These two problems, a life-saving system activating on the ground and a life-preserving wall built with fatal flaws, expose a terrifying truth. What else is hidden beneath the sleek exterior of the Dreamliner? But you may wonder, why did such critical flaws still slip through multiple layers of inspection? The root cause lies not in technical capability, but in how the inspection system itself was distorted by financial priorities. When those setting inspection schedules are not engineers but managers pressured by delivery deadlines, safety checks become symbolic. Some inspection phases were trimmed, reclassified as random audits, or fully delegated to supplier reports. The result is systemic flaws repeatedly passed undetected, replicated across airframes, and quietly spread. What alarms observers is not just the severity of each individual issue, but the recurrence. A vicious cycle spanning over a decade, flaw detected, quick fix, aircraft continues flying, then a new flaw emerges. The concern is no longer about the nature of one problem, but the speed at which new ones appear, as if every time the technical lid is lifted, another hidden issue awaits discovery. From the moment it entered service, the Boeing 787 faced its first major crisis. Any discussion of Dreamliner defects inevitably recalls the 2013 battery fiasco, a crisis born from what Boeing once hailed as a technological breakthrough, lithium-ion batteries. The aircraft's main battery system was found to overheat, catch fire easily, and potentially explode under high-pressure conditions. The entire global fleet of 787s was temporarily grounded. Major carriers like Japan Airlines and United Airlines reported severe issues with the wiring systems near the battery compartment, citing risks of thermal leaks and electric discharges in areas lacking adequate cooling. The situation peaked during the summer of that year when a fire broke out in the battery bay of an Ethiopian Airlines 787 parked at London Heathrow. Investigators later determined the cause, poorly insulated wiring located directly beneath the battery, creating conditions ripe for sparking and short circuits. But the flaws weren't limited to internal design. Another deeply troubling factor was that not all components of the Boeing 787 were made by Boeing. A significant portion of production was outsourced to international suppliers, a vulnerability in itself. According to a Reuters investigation, subcontractor MPS in Italy delivered substandard metal parts used in structural load-bearing zones beneath the aircraft's floor, critical to supporting both the passenger cabin and cargo hold. It's estimated that up to 500 Boeing Dreamliners may have been fitted with these faulty components. If these low-quality alloys weaken slowly under constant pressure and remain undetected, a catastrophic failure could occur without warning. Worse, just a few years later, between 2020 and 2024, numerous aircraft were found to have structural gaps in their fuselages. Instead of issuing a public recall, Boeing quietly created shadow factories, secret workshops where over 120 fuselages were dismantled and patched up out of public view without informing the flying public. And then, by early 2025, when it seemed the problems had been resolved, the forward pressure bulkhead issue resurfaced. The FAA immediately issued a mandatory inspection directive. Once again, a system assumed to be stable showed signs of fracture. Every fix seems to lead to a new problem, as if this aircraft always holds yet another fault waiting to emerge. As a result, 
Serious incidents have continued to occur. The case of Flight AI-171 is a chilling example. What has caused Boeing, once a steadfast symbol of trust in aviation technology, to become a name that many now hesitate to embrace, even respond to with unease. There was a time when Boeing embodied a pioneering spirit and absolute reliability. From the legendary 747 that ushered in the age of intercontinental travel, to the Dreamliner 787, a technological marvel with a lightweight frame, high fuel efficiency, and superior passenger experience. The phrase, if it's not Boeing, I'm not going, was once a proud motto of those who placed complete trust in the company. But now, the sentiment has flipped. Increasingly, worried passengers are heard saying, if it's Boeing, I'm not going. This shift wasn't triggered by a single technical fault, it's the result of a management culture that veered off course. After the merger with McDonnell Douglas in the 1990s, Boeing entered a new era, one in which decisions were no longer made on the factory floor, but in boardrooms driven by profit. As delivery deadlines and quarterly reports became top priorities, stringent inspection procedures and safety warnings from engineers began to be seen as obstacles. Many experienced engineers tried to speak up, raising alarms about flaws in assembly and component checks, but they were reassigned, reprimanded, or forced out. Some became whistleblowers, a last-ditch effort to prevent disaster. Meanwhile, internal inspections were shortened or turned into mere formalities to keep deliveries on schedule. Boeing repeatedly asserted that the reported flaws did not compromise flight safety and that the fleet continued to meet all operational standards. But trust can't be maintained by statements alone. When the FAA, once Boeing's close technical partner, began issuing independent inspection directives, and international airlines started hiring external experts rather than relying on the manufacturer's data, it was clear that a crisis of trust had taken root. Once an icon, Boeing now finds itself struggling to reclaim its identity in a world where trust, once lost, is one of the hardest things to restore. Meanwhile, Airbus, Boeing's greatest rival, is quietly reclaiming market share. The A350, known for its stable design and absence of scandal, is increasingly becoming the preferred choice of airlines around the world. These are just Fligavia's perspective. How about you? What do you think is the real reason behind Boeing's downfall? Let us know your thoughts. Thank you, and may you always have safe flights.